David, happy to be back in Bangalore. Yeah, it's great to be back. Um, look, obviously last year we didn't, because um, of the bubble, um, we weren't here, so it's great to be to be here at our home ground with a fantastic following and, um, you know, hopefully we can repeat what we did first game here. Actually, on behalf of the team, I'm asking you, because uh, common audience have a question that Rajat is out, out of the tournament, but will he be back in next season? What's the uh, update about him? Sorry. I'm Rajat sorry. Patidar. Yeah, yeah, obviously. You know, he's ruled out, but he'll be available for next season or a replacement has been announced. So, there's a confusion in common fans. Yeah, look, he's been a, he's, he was a brilliant player for us last year and, um, you know, obviously disappointed for the team and him to miss out. Um, you know, we're fortunate that we've got some great quality and depth and it creates opportunities for new people to come in and put their hand up. Uh, uh, in terms of death over bowling, I mean, that's something that uh, comes back to haunt uh, RCB every season. Now, uh, your thoughts on that and how we are working on that? Yeah, look, I think we've got some good death bowlers. Um, you know, I think everyone can put their hand, hand up and, 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 you know, make that role their own. Um, you know, we know very well it's, it's a difficult ground, particularly here, um, to defend in those death overs. So, you know, the focus is to try and take wickets throughout the, um, the innings to, um, you know, hopefully um, make those death overs a little bit easier. Um, you know, we saw when guys get going, both our team and, and the opposition, um, it's a very difficult ground to defend here. And, uh, you know, you had a great win with Mumbai uh, on the first game and then uh, losses with Kolkata and tomorrow you're again facing LSD. So how well prepared are the team is? Yeah, look, I think a lot of, um, a lot of homework's gone into to how we need to play, how we need to bowl and bat at this ground. So um, that homework's been done. Um, I think the guys are in a good place. Obviously, it's a disappointing performance away from home, but, um, you know, we brush ourselves off and, and we go again. Sometimes it's good to have, um, you know, those poor performances early in the competition as you can learn from them and, and sort of, you know, build momentum towards the right end of the competition. Uh, last match, middle order batting collapsed. Uh, how are you addressing that issue? Um, I, think it, I think it happens. I, these things happen. Um, you know, I think it's very easy for us to, to point the finger at um, a batting collapse, but I think throughout the 40 overs, I think we were... Um, below par, I don't think we bowled particularly well. Um, we were probably a little bit sloppy in the field compared to how we were first game and that made our job with the bat difficult and obviously we didn't come off either with that. So um, I think throughout the 40 overs we were um, you know, below where we want to be at and um, we, we'll look back on that and try to rectify the mistakes. Um, David, also on the extras, have you all had a, a chat on uh, that? Uh, you'll have Considered about 34 extras in two matches, 23 uh, against Calcutta itself. Uh, is that something that you guys are working on as a team? Um, no, I don't think it's been discussed. I think one of the things we've talked about is, particularly if we're trying to bowl um, those bouncers or the, or the wide balls, that you know we've been really aggressive with the lines and the lengths we're trying to um, trying to trying to bowl. So um, I think that the Knock-on effect of that is there's going to be some more extras, but those, um, you know, we're consciously trying to push the boundaries and make sure we're, if we're bowling wide, we are bowling as wide as we can, and as a result, you're going to bowl a few extras. Yeah. David, personally, for you to just get into the tournament with successive wickets in the last game, and how does it feel? Yeah, obviously, um, bittersweet. It would have been nice to um, perform on a winning side, but... Um, from a personal point of view, you know, I wasn't sure how much game time I'd get, so it was nice to get the opportunity, and um, you know, so I've got an opportunity there to make that my my own spot. So, um, hopefully, I can back it up, and you're only as good as your next game. So, um, yeah, bittersweet not to, to be on the winning side, but nice to get an opportunity. How do you assess uh, LSG, Lucknow? Oh, look, I think. I think there's a lot of good teams in the tournament and, and they're one of them. So um, we don't concentrate too much on the opposition. We focus very much on our own processes, how we want to, to play the game, um, and the style we want to play and also how we want to be as individuals and as a group. So our focus at the moment is very much on ourselves.